Hello guys, myself Pankita. In this video, we shall see another problem on the code. Find the difference of two arrays. So you are given a zero index array, array one and array two, nums one and nums two. So return the list of answer that is of size two, where answer of zero is a list of all distinct integers in num one, where which are not present in nums two, and answer one is a list of all distinct integers in nums two, which are not present in nums one. So I'll explain the problem with the example. We are given an array 1,2,3,3 then 1,1,2,2 So with these two arrays let's say this is array 1 and this is array 2 Our aim is to return a list of arrays list of arrays You can see the return type here. So the first array should contain the elements in array 1 which are not present in array 2. That means if it consider is array 1, 1 is present in array 2, 2 also present in array 2. So it will return only 3 and it should be distinct. Similarly for the second array, the elements in array 2 which are not present in array 1. So 1 and 2 both are in array 1 hence it will return none. And this should be written as a list of integers, a uh, list of arrays. So this is the output. So the approach to solve this problem is you can solve the problem using arrays, array itself, but the time complexity will be more and it's better if you convert this array into a set so that uh, we have contains function in set which will easily find out whether the particular element is present in set uh, array to uh, other set or not. So at first we will convert this array into the set. So that's why we have to create two sets, set 1 and set 2. It has the same index as we create list or in, uh, arrays. So nothing but set and the return type integer equal to or set 1 equal to new set of new hash set. Similarly for set2, set and in feature return type, set2 equal to new hash set of the return type. So once you create two sets, now you have to add elements to this set. So set1 contain will uh, contain elements of array1 that is sums1 and set2 will contain elements of sums2. We run the for loop for each Int num each number in nums one. So for each element in nums one, set one dot add function add of num. Similarly for set two as well. For each element in nums two, set two dot add of num. So we are adding each element from the set one to uh, nums one to set one and nums two to set two. Once you add the elements to the set one and set two, now we will perform the uh, distinct integer operation on the set one. That means uh, the set one should contain all the elements of set one uh, and the elements which are not present in set two. We have to remove all those elements. So again, on the for for each number in set one. Now we have to check whether this particular number is present in set two or not. So what do we do? If condition if not present in uh, the negation condition will do if not present in uh, set two dot contains of no. so if this particular element of set one is not present in set two then what do we need to do okay we have to add that to the list so once you create two sets and add element to those two sets, then again create a list, array list, because we don't know the uh, the, data type, the size of the resultant array. That's why we create the array list where, where it will have the dynamic size. So that's why we create two lists. So that is difference one and difference two. Both are of type integer. So once you find out that the particular element in set 1 is not present in set 2, 
we have to do difference one dot add of now. Next again, same thing ha will happen for the same thing will happen for the set two as well. So if uh, for loop will run for the set two for each element in set two. Set will contain all these unique elements. So, for each element in set two, we check whether if set one dot contains of now. So put the negation. That means if this particular element of the set two is not present in set one, then difference dot difference two dot add of now. So at last. Create a list of integer called anything it may be. So resultant equal to a particular new dot array list of something. Then you add so this resultant is named the name nothing but as answer. They are given in the question. So then you add answer dot add of the list one that is difference one and answer dot add of difference two. So the total of uh, control for what we have here is first we have two arrays, two arrays. Then put those array elements into two sets. So it will contain unique elements. And we have inbuilt function contains in that, so easily we can perform the operation of finding the whether element is present in other set or not. So next, you create two list. Why are you creating two list to add a distinct integers? So in this, you perform the operation and at last create a list of arrays. And for that, add these two list, which we count the output. So. As I said, we have two arrays. We have to create two sets. So, set integer set one equal to has set similarly, we do it for set two as well. So once you create two sets, now add elements to the set, adding elements to sets. So then the for loop for each element, each number in array one, nums one, set one dot add of now. Same thing we have to do for Uh, array 2 as well, each element in array 2, set 2 dot add of now. So after adding elements to sets, now the next operation creation of two list. So array list of type integer one is difference one equal to new array list. Same should be created for second array as well. So let's name it as difference 2. So once you create two lists, now we have to perform the operation. So for each element in set 1, we have to check if the negation condition of set two and give us this set two dot contains set two dot contains of number if that is not present if this particular element is not present in set two which is there in set one then we have to add that element to the list difference one. So 
difference one dot add of one. The same thing we have to do for the second set as well. So adding elements list array list. here for each element in set 2 you have to check whether that is present in set 1 if that is not present in set 1 then add that to second array list so once all these are performed now finally you have to return the list of arrays so array list of array list of integer and name it as answer equal to new array list so now answer dot add of first set one uh, array list one then answer dot add of array list two so at last return answer Array list this first return type then is a parameter. the return type contains only list we have to keep list yes it is successfully submitted if you have any doubts please drop it in the comment section we will come up with another video in the next session and please subscribe to the channel and keep learning thank you